Greetings, and Gandalf in the prison shirt. I've just had a shower, so uh, we'll better put something warmer on. Interesting, uh, had a couple of days break, um, do some essential with jobs and things around the home. Uh, it was either a choice of buy a radiator cover and put money into the system, or look and see what I've got and make my own, which is the option I went for, which has been hampered by rain. But we persevere and um, it's quite therapeutic. Interestingly, um, was it Sunday morning? I woke up and straight away I got the word Antarctic come into my mind. And then I thought, hold on a minute, you've got ant arc and tick. Now ant seems to be how we are referred to and certainly the Disney Pixar film Bugs Life it's um, very much um, showing you what is going on in this world. We are the ants and you have these parasitic grasshoppers who come and take the uh, food that the ant colony has picked for itself and they just come and take what they want and deprive the ants of the food. And the famous line of course is when uh, Hopper says uh, if one of these ants wakes up and they realise how many there are of, of them compared to how few there are of us our rule is over. And this is exactly um, the situation we are in in this world. Now, very interestingly, um, there's a, a definite pattern to the way things are flipped over. I mentioned on a previous video about the reverse speech that especially politicians use and how people will assume that the terminology is um, applied, applying to them. Uh, a great one would be health and safety and uh, that phrase for security reasons. But you have to ask yourself, well, whose health and safety and for whose security? Because you just have to look at what we have to gain and what they have to lose. And when I say they, I am referring to this shadow world government that, oh yes, it already exists. You've only got to look at the Antarctic Treaty and just use a bit of logic as why is it that 58 nations can all agree um, on this supposed land mass, but they can't agree anywhere else. Uh, and I've, as I've suggested before, it is not uh, the Napoleonic War, the American Civil War, the First World War, Second World War, Vietnam War, and now the, the war that's going on in Yemen. It seems to be a systematic continuous war and you can actually think of these wars in the terms that they they use when they say a theater of war that is the equivalent of your evening entertainment on the television the idiot box that most people seem to be just content to just sit and allow all this corporate information to be uh, put into your mind telling you what to think and what to believe and just going along with the script that they want you to have um, anybody who uh, dares to question anything as that saying goes about if you want to find out who your enemy enemies are find out what you cannot criticize and that is very true um, for example you cannot question this so-called holocaust in Germany or Austria because you'd be put in prison um, a uh, solicitor would not be allowed to represent you and defend you because they would uh, also end up in prison as well. So that, that's a big clue there in itself. Same with this 5G, the same with vaccinations. Anything that they seem to want to push upon us and force us to have is a big clue that it's not in our best interests at all. Now, the way that things often work is a complete flip over. So for example, if you look at the old maps, now this is the four land masses that are shown on the old maps. One of the cartographers is still in business today, very well respected, and there it is. Now, 
you'll notice this tail down here, you'll notice these indents as well. Now if you look at the Google Earth, which almost seems to be Tibex, I can't get the whole thing to come up on the screen, but you can do this for yourself. You'll find there's a tail down there, you have the indent here, there's one down here, and you have this indent there. Because they cannot, they cannot uh, create anything, they can only um, use existing ideas. This is, this is a thing, this enemy that we're up against has no ability to create. I'm just going to go uh, back here to uh, a different screen because I, I do want to give a shout out to a few um, very good channels that are very worth worthwhile watching. Now one of the big questions is the question of this creator. Well we can look at this from the, we can also do a flip over and we can look at this the other way round. Now take for example your computer or your laptop. Just look at what you've got there. It is basically a copy of a human brain. You have an operating system for example. I've had to write down the, this all this terminology. Um, notice also if it's an office environment they are called terminals as well. Um, I think that's another big clue. Um, so what, what have I written here? <laughs> yeah so you have operating systems, you have programs. Uh, what else have we got here? You've got your shutdown procedure. Now the human body after death goes through a shutdown procedure. Um, once the heart actually stops the body will still go through a process exactly the same way as a, a laptop does. And of course you also have a restart which is basically a reset. And is that not what um, the, the picture that is emerging for humanity that we go through these series of resets because we are basically an energy food source for this parasitic control system and when our numbers get too big they like to kill us off and as I, as I said about this this ongoing war is this one continuous war if you look at the pattern of it take for example Dresden there was absolutely no military value in destroying that city except for the buildings which are a big giveaway and this pattern is emerging everywhere. You'll find this, just look at John Levi's channel, look at uh, A Plain Truth For You is another another brilliant example um, that is showing all this. Um, I want to call out uh, a few other channels, The, the Crow House uh, as well. That's another channel worth, very worth, worth watching. Quantum of Consciousness as well, another very good channel. And I would thoroughly recommend any of these channels that I'm calling out here that you have a look at those as well. Um, trouble is I've not got this in any particular order. I'm having to go through the list here. Um, the Black Sheep Researcher is another very good channel to look at who gives a very fair and balanced view on things. If you want to look at a specific topic, I recommend going to that channel as well. Um, and I, w I have to agree as well. If you, it's all very well saying, oh, go and do your own research. But often with the internet, the first things that you're going to get come up are not going to be the information that you want to find. It'll be contro either controlled opposition or it will be official narrative. And why spend your time going over something that somebody else has already looked at? And the channels I've already mentioned are, give you a very balanced view on things and it is up to you to make your own mind up on things, obviously. Um, you don't have to agree with everything I say, you don't have to agree with any, anything anybody else says. Um, there is also the intuition side of things. If something really resonates with you, then that is your um, gut feeling that is telling you that, um, yeah, that is the thing to, to go with because it is speaking a truth to you. There is, a, there is such a thing as a belief which can be totally false, but there is also a thing called a knowing, which is also the basis of the Gnostic teachings, the Gnosis from the, I think it was the Latin or the Greek. But um, 
yeah there's certainly some things um we can i mean we can all go over 9 11 and there's plenty of channels out there that have already thoroughly researched this and you just have to stand back forget everything you've been told this is the whole thing whether you're coming from the truth seeking side or the spiritual awakening side of things or a mixture of the two it is always a process of letting go first because if you try and wrap any of these new ideas around existing but fake belief systems then it is not going to make sense and you're doing yourself a complete disservice i mean you can just look at these things for entertainment uh, as opposed to watching the television or watching a film but I would seriously consider that you think about the word tame because it has various prefix, prefixes to that you can be contained, you can be detained or you can be retained and you'll find this repeat pattern with many words there is a key word notice also that laptops and computers have a keyboard as well but um, I'm still going through this whole uh, language and the double meanings. And it's amazing uh, what is actually coming out of this. I was listening to Lee. Um, he's changed the name of his channel. It was uh, Flat, Flat Earth British Sub. But um, I think he's changed the channel name now. Um, because Martin Leaker, who was Flat Earth British, has had his channel hacked and has no access to the channel so he's now um, going under the name of Martin Lika. The timing of all this is highly suspicious when he has this new book coming out called uh, Our Flat Earth, The Holy Grail and I would thoroughly recommend uh, that you have a look at uh, Martin's channel and get a copy of the book if nothing else but for a, just to ha have a real proper look at this whole idea of Flat Earth now I hold the idea, as I have suggested on Unlocking the Matrix, I think it was 41, uh, talking about the shape of the Earth, and I've suggested it is a giant eyeball. And um, If you view the eyeball from the side, we're actually on the iris. And you have the dome, which is the lens of the eye. So, yes, it is a ball, but it, as far as this three-dimensional aspect is, we are on a relatively flat surface yes there are mountains and there are um, deep oceans and things and of course all the things where we could verify anything and prove this one way or another we are not allowed to do because you you will not get anywhere near the antarctic as i've said before um, if you were able to sail to near the antarctic so you can keep it within view and then just go either one way or the other it would soon become very apparent if you were on the inside or the outside of a circle but of course that does not answer the question of the shape of the earth it's itself um, NASA and the official narrative of uh, shall we say science will tell you that we are in this expanding universe that has no edge to it i mean that is bad enough to try and comprehend but i don't see why if people can readily accept that why they cannot accept the idea which has been suggested that the earth is a continuous basically like a tabletop and a series of worlds under domes if you think of it like the in the doctor who series um you've got the daleks if you look at the lower part of that you have what are basically half tennis balls well they could actually represent the domes over different worlds um, we have no way of actually this is obviously all speculation we have no way of actually verifying this until we can actually go there but um, just try it and see how far you get you'll probably find the New Zealand Air Force will come and intercept you and tell you to turn back um, whether they would actually shoot or not is another question um, up to you if you if you have the resources and want to put that to the test also very interesting um, John Levi has shown this amongst many other channels if you look at these old lithographs of cities they're very much highly detailed in the same way you have these very well 
known uh, people with autism who can just take a look at a, a an horizon and then draw it from memory and put every little detail in. Well, these lithographs are so accurate, but they are from a perspective of being in the air. Now, I would suggest that they are not these lithographs are a type of photography that is unknown to us these days. Um, something that has been hidden or suppressed or possibly even forgotten. But I'll leave that up to you to make your mind up on all this. I do have another couple of videos in mind, which I'm going to make over the next couple of days. But um, I thought I just wanted to get that out there. And please do check the um, video description because I am going to put links in for various other channels with pointers for things that I think it will benefit you all to have a look at. Um, I look at these channels and a lot of what they're saying resonates. I try and go between the truth seeking and the spiritual. There is a whole spiritual aspect um, that I'm involved in as well, um, which I, I'm, I'm not gonna talk about here because um, I don't want to open the floodgates for numerous requests to things. Uh, there's, there's only so many hours in the day and we're in this physical um, reality where you have such a thing as time and I don't want to turn anybody away but I am limited even though I have no full-time job um, which I'm rather pleased about I must say because it does allow me the time to a lot of the time I spend, I live in my head and I, I think about things or I'll wake up and I'll just get something come into my mind. Uh, this was the case the other day with one of the videos. So I'm gonna end that there. It's just a general sort of chit chat this time, more than any, any specific topic. But um, I must say a big thank you for this huge increase in number of subscri subscribers. Thank you in particular to Lee, Flat Earth British Sub, um, thank you to uh, Christine Holographic Multiverse for recommending this channel and thank you for all these new subscribers and famously as everybody else seems to say please like, comment and share. Thank you very much.